Hi everyone! Welcome back to Dishonored. Um, so we're going to be playing the DLC now. We just finished, or at least I, <laughs> just finished the main game. Um, and I'm absolutely ready to go dive into some more content. So we're going to be playing the DLC. Uh, as far as I understood, there's two DLC, the Knife of Dunwell and the Brightmoor Witches. This one is just more of a challenges sort of thing. So we're going to be starting with the Knife of Dunwall. Um, and see what this story is going to be all about. Unlocking new difficulty mode is automatically saved in your user settings. Okay. Well, let's start a new game then. Veteran, a moderately challenging experience. Enemies inflict more damage and have keener perceptions. Novice, a casual experience for new players. Every damage is reduced, your health recovery is improved, and potions are more effective. And Elite, a serious challenge for hardcore gamers. Enemies inflict extreme damage, have keen perceptions, and potions are less effective. And then you have the Master Assassin. I think we're just gonna go with Veteran. That seems to be medium difficulty, right? Yes! Ready. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? Oh. She was. We're Dodd, aren't we? I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. No! Get away from her! Corvo! Ooh. Ooh. A visit from the outside. Use Blink to reach the painting area. Oh, power of Blink. Yeah, we know about Blink. Ooh. Our blink is looks different. Oh, that's the painting. We know about this one. Time automatically pauses when we blink, which is freaking amazing. Wow. That is really good. You're a doubt. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. <laughs> Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Okay. Layla. For six months. The city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets, Billy Lurk. 
Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild, a former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. <laughs> Favors. As doubt, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in a mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. Cool. Let's see, upgrades would be best probably. Wrist bow. How much money do we have? 2,000. Wrist bow range. Wrist bow reload. Darts are effective immediately. Yeah, let's take that. Leap dart capacity would be good to have. And then... Accuracy would be good. And then maybe risk range. There we go. And then... We just buy a few sleep darts. That's good. Favors, I don't think we want yet, but save code. A guard overheard the save code to the safe in the shipping office and will etch it on the wall. Stolen rune. A briber labored will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of crimshaw bound. So the rune will be hidden in the sewer and spill out into the river. So otherwise you can't get these things or what? Or this will just make it easier to get. Hmm. Start mission. Let's see. Bundry Rothwild is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate to Rothwild's slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, <laughs> the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. <laughs> One Excuse last thing. me. I found something for you. I know you collect these. Ooh, it's rune. Tops till you need me. Nice. One out of six found. Let's see. Uh, workers in the Rothwell slaughterhouse have rebelled against their boss and refused to work until their conditions are improved, except for the butchers who will remain on, who remain on the job. Let's see, we have Void Gaze, See in the Dark, we have Blink, Summon an Assassin, Bend Time, that would be good, Vitality, Bloodthirsty, Agility would be good to have, Shadow Kill, and we have Arcane Bound, share your powers with your Assassin allies. At level 1, Assassins will benefit from Blink and Vitality, which means they can teleport and get an increase in health. So, let's actually do this on five. One, three, two, and we'll do this, I guess, on seven, zero. I think it's good like that. and get past me and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook go home mister orders are to confiscate those cards no exceptions I hope you die weeping things are All bad of you. I the hope the plague gets you. worse 
I hope the plague gets you. <laughs> Ouch. Can't go that far yet. So we really want to upgrade our blink. Well, that went great. You're gonna bleed, damn you. We don't have the silent running, of course, right now. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> We're okay. We're fine. We're good. Need to get used that everything is slightly different now. The Empress. Rat poison. We need to rid the sewers of the rat infestation. Make sure you set this crate of potted meat aside so we can lace it with rat poison. After it is poisoned, take it down to the dock so we can get it into the sewers below. Captain Galloway. Wait, what was T? Said press T to something. Huh? <clears throat> Probably rats into everything. Let's go. Ooh, everything is so different now. It's so much slower again as well. Ooh. Gotta get used to this. Sounds like the rats are already feasting on things. Just for a second, I want to check downstairs to see if there's something there. Not feasting on this guy, at least. Oops. Oh, it's not the rats, it's the pylon. Okay, I see. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Let's go back up again. There you go. Now... Can you go far enough? Yes, we can. Here, loads of dead bodies. Boing. Attention. I want to take Under out this guy once he gets here. Failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Come on, where is he? Wait, games. Oh, that also shows a bone charm. Interesting. Uh, that's not at all what I meant to happen. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that's not at all how I wanted it to go. <laughs> Just the wind. Want Slackjaw and Corvo. Me, Death, Bones, and Song. Excerpt from a Butcher's Journal. Leona looks worried when I come home at night. She's looking for that spark, our love, the life we just had two years ago, all our ambitions. But the more she pulls at me, the more I resent her, the more I bury all that. When her father was killed at the carriage station, I gave him my studies at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. So mismanaged were their finances, with so many debts in arrears that her mother and younger brothers would have been ruined had I not. My work feeds us all and keeps the rent paid to that shriveled old leech Wainwright. 
I hate this work. But in the time of plague, it takes all one's efforts to stay afloat of the desperation, the blood and the rats. There are bribes that must be paid to Lord Regent's city watch and Barrister Arnold Tim's death count dead counters. Offend the wrong bureaucrat and your home is seized and you're off to the flooded district, so it falls to me. Every day I drive my screaming saw into the beast, eyes wide open. I studied them for years at the academy and on my trips into the field. Now, working in a slaughterhouse, the wrongness is like a wound in my head. The first months I worked in a numb state. Then my predominant mood was anger. Now the wound is scabbing over and some days I feel, like kind of, I feel a kind of power. My entire existence is meat and there is in my mind, uh, all there is in my mind is meat, death, bones and song. The terrifying songs, they come to me in my sleep now. I look into the great eye as I take away life slowly. There is a kind of deep connection, with the beast knowing I'll be coming back again and again, removing peace for hours, sometimes days. They sing for us, a funeral lament that causes me to tremble. Leona and I still share a bed, but the more she tries to make me feel something, the more I recede. The person I was is dead now. I'm guessing he's talking about wheels, right? If he says he keeps coming back to take pieces for hours and hours. I'm guessing he's talking about wheels. Alright. <laughs> Am I doing great? No. <laughs> not really. It's not a good start. Not a good start. Water of oops. Water of life. Drinking from fountains recharges a small amount of health. Sure. I'll take it. Is there a fountain around? Ouch. Dirty door panel. That's just a rewire. I don't necessarily want that. There we go. That's what I want. Uh... Stop messing around and come out at once. I gotta get back right now. I don't get paid enough. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is good. I don't think we can go up, right? No. Okay. So that thing is disabled. That's good. Now... Up and up we go! Whee. Let's see... Go up even more... This is a Ooh. reminder. There's a man out of the there. watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart... I'd suggest he's up to no good. Action and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical and specializations. Up on the river watching the Consult place. the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. Where? Hmm. I don't know where. Does it come far enough? No, it doesn't. But now it probably does. There you go. <sighs> Granny's recipe, a page torn from an old manuscript written in scrawling hand. The port side eye of will newly dead. Plop it in the pot, grizzly and red. Weeper weeper weeps no more. Laid to rest on blood edged floor. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Granny. 
Words I I of will, newly dead, plop it in a pot, Chrissy and Red. Weeper, weeper, weep no more, late to rest on a blood edged floor. Ben agrees to complete Renny's Granny's recipe. Granny Rags has written down various rituals and uh, formulas to produce items of power. So we have one now. Need two for that. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. That could be good to have. Hmm. I think we want blink upgraded first. We need four for that. I think that's what we want. I don't need to tell stories that, about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. We can kill her, Jesus. <clears throat> but this doesn't show characters yet. This is a public Never warning. Done. Corvo Atan, the assassin and one time. Royal Protector has escaped from confinement and is at large within the city. Any sightings of this state criminal must be reported to the city watch at once. Okay. Well, let's see. Can I go back up again? Yes. And? Killed so many people already! <laughs> Been doing horrible. Oh, look at the whale. Is that the one they were talking about? That was watching? Would that be Samuel? Someone's supposed to be on duty. What's going on there? Woo! Whoopsie. Well, I guess now we can kind of see... You're... Oh? You're there you go. Down. Shit, I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I want to know about a ship. The Delilah. Yeah, I heard of it. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I work for a very rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. This whole business with the strike, our doing. We got a mole on the inside, a lady pretending to run the labor crews, a real talent. She could lie straight to the high overseer's face and get away with it. <laughs> we were supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day waiting to hear word. I mean, I haven't seen or heard a peep. I was about to shove off. You're here to make a little mayhem anyway. Maybe you could find her. If she's still alive, she'd be able to get you everything you need to know about that ship. No question. And a substantial reward besides. Her name's Abigail Ames. Okay. Locate and eat Abigail Ames. Abigail. Abigail Ames. It's so short. The blink distance is so short. Oof. Sign the contract, and you'll be back at work tomorrow. All the others down with the sickness. There you go. These rats crawling all over everything. Hope they're not going to eat him. All the others down with the sickness. They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. Okay, so I need... The gate is in the yeah. break room across the yard from here. Okay. Cool. Break room. Gotta get to the break room. Hey, I heard 
How did it pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. Do I look stupid? Do I look stupid? I politely declined to answer that question. <laughs> Really suddenly back into the olden times again where oh I can't see if an enemy is coming or not. Probably just the wind. Yep. Probably. There is the main entrance. Answer there. There's so much going on here. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. <coughs> Heard him really close by. <coughs> There's so many guys around as well. This is not the gate I came through, is it? No, it is. He's so aggressive with throwing them down. <laughs> Let's see, Slaughterhouse Row. Excerpt from a book on Dunwell City Districts. For more than two decades, a small number of slaughterhouses sat along the Rand Haven, out away from the finer quarters of Dunwell due to the blood, rats, and stench associated with processing meat. Independent whaling ships brought in occasional leviathan, and barges delivered herds of blood oxen. An individual slaughterhouse might fold due to mismanagement, but the number stayed roughly the same, producing the meat, leather, and the grease byproducts needed across the capital city. Only when the Rosebury processing treatment was discovered did the whaling trade begin to rise in prominence. Driven by the many new uses for the much more volatile refined whale oil, including military and security uses. Early into Empress Jasmine's Colwyn's brief reign, the well-known inventor and natural philosopher Anton Sokolov introduced a series of devices that would begin to see deployment across Dunwall, directed by the royal spymaster Hiram Burroughs. With his lucrative turn of events, the number of slaughterhouses could triple, and the demand for fresh wheels increased proportionally. Many districts immediately adjacent to what was suddenly known as Slaughterhouse Row began to change as families moved away to avoid industrial fumes and awful runoff. Awful? Never heard of that before. Awful runoff produced by the processing plants. Crime grew overnight, forcing the City Watch to redouble its efforts against Dunwall gangs. Okay, interesting. Oops. Detain Jack. That laborer who does maintenance around here, Jack, changed the safe combination this morning and forgot to update the officer on duty. If anyone spots him, detain him immediately. I'm afraid with the way things are between Rothwell Butchers and the laborer crews, Jack might not be long for the world. And then we'll have to get one of those dumb choffers with the saw up here. Watch Officer Dossett. So he's probably locked up. After this morning, we're taking away time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message. Okay. Let's see. So we've done this whole part now. 
Seems like everyone's taken out here. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. I want to go talk to the guy again. See, maybe it's the other guy. But Rothwell Labor rescued by the assassin. He'll never believe it. I'm going to teach my son the sword now. <laughs> the only way. That butcher was saying Rothwell made a chair okay, for Okay, no jacket sign. seems. Some kind of torture device. I think he was just trying to intimidate us. Hmm. Where could Jack be? It sounded like he would be locked up somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we are going to continue next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!